And well, as Gaza crumbles under relentless Israeli strikes, the U.S. support for Israel's military operations is witnessing a growing descent within the White House. In the latest, an official of the Department of Education has resigned over Washington's policy on the war tone enclave. Tariq Habash, a Palestinian-American, has become the second White House staffer to resign. His exit comes two months after Josh Paul an arms sales official at the State Department also put in his papers. The exits come as discontent within the Biden administration has continued to grow. A day before Habash quit, 17 other staffers on the Biden campaign sent an anonymous letter urging the administration to push for a ceasefire in Gaza and conditioning military aid to Israel. This is the latest wave of criticism stemming from within the White House and U.S. administration. In December, a group of masked officials carried out a vigil in front of the White House calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. Since November, a steady stream of petitions and dissent memos have been pouring in, mounting pressure on Washington to change its Gaza policy and push for a ceasefire in the enclave. To lead Israel to victory. This will be a different kind of...